guys, September 17, 2024. So I got a call from a guy. He called me um, yesterday where he could smell gas down in the basement. So I asked him if, you know, it could be coming from the dryer. Did he just work on the dryer? Anybody who see? He said, yeah, he just hooked up a new dryer. So I told him to look at the vent coming off the back. It's a gas dryer. It might not have been hooked up right, you know, dumping gas into the basement. I told him to look at that, and then if that's not the problem, call me back. So he called me back. He called the gas company, and they went over there and shut the shut the gas off to the boiler. I guess it's a gas conversion burner, and it sounds like the gas valve might be leaking or something. But it's an older boiler, gas conversion burner, so we might have to put a new. If it's an older boiler, might be better off just upgrading and putting a new boiler in it. It's not really. We haven't been using heat yet, still a little, I guess cold in the morning, but during the day it warms up, so we're going to go by and look at it. I've worked on his AC a couple of times over here, come, put a couple of different capacitors on his uh, condensing unit, I believe that's the same guy. Anyway, we're going to go over there and see if we can figure out what's going on and look, at, look over the situation for the guy. And, uh, see what his best solution to his problem is. It's an old, old sectional. That's crazy. The firebox is just all toast. You gotta be careful of that stuff. I used to work as an auto mechanic and we used to make the drums on uh, car brakes fit the uh, shoes and we did it by... Alright, that's inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter we turn. What do you got, up? old fashioned radiators upstairs? Yes. Mm -hmm. I gotta go upstairs and measure all that to see what size, what size boiler we need. That's two inch. We'll have to worry about none of that. We just have to... From there down. Well, I'm going to have to measure up all. The best way to do this to find out exactly what size you need is if I could measure up every radiator, mm -hmm. and then we could do a load on it. Okay, a heat load. We'll get heat load on it, and that'll tell me exactly what size boiler you need. Oh, perfect. So, can we get to all the radiators? Sure, they're all, all right. covered. I'm going to close that door so we don't have any straight. Yeah. So in and out, in and out, right here. I'm going to get my uh, my tape measure. It's crazy. I think when this house was first built, this wall might not. Get the exact load of what we need. That's the way to do so it. This is a, this is a four, four small tube. You want to get in the shatters? That's flipping nuts, huh? So that's all of them, right? That's it. Yeah, we got that one on the, on the uh, back end. Alright, so I measured all the baseboard. I got two cast iron baseboard. I got two six section by 25, six wide, 25 high, four tubes small, 26 sections, 22 sections, two of them. I got um, four big tubes, so it's it's a big tube of four sections, ten and a half by twenty-four, nineteen sections, two of them. And then I got one that's twenty-seven sections. That's a lot of volume there. Then I got um, three sections, big tube, nine by twenty-four, uh, ten sections. That's for the bathroom. Then I got a six small tube 7 by 23 that's the size of one section width and height 35 sections that's going to determine um, the, the BTU load that I need for that house just that's all the radiation in the house that's how that's a press way to determine what size the boiler should be 